Okay, we are back. Gonna start this sucker up again. This should be the stage eight recording. And here we go. Whoop, wrong button, me. Yep, this is stage eight, all right. Ah, yes, Game Chat 2013. My poor wallet. <laughs> like I said to a system as quickly though as I did the 3DS. Usually it takes me like a year to get into certain games. Although granted we didn't purchase one until they had the uh, price drop. And then getting the Ambassador games uh, along with that in that like two day span you can buy it. And then... At least I'm starting to get smarter here about hitting these things. Part of the reason why is I'm actually playing eShop titles now for a change. I never did that on the DS. Well, not yet anyway. Or this is just a one-stage run, so this isn't a, I know for a fact this isn't going to be a great run. And then I'm going to make sure I, uh... Yay, on the first I made it in this level. I wish they'd do an account system, too. It's like, you know, I'm not completely... I might be a Nintendo fan and a huge one, but it's not like they're perfect. But like I said, you know, with Sony, I'll eventually get a PS4, probably, unless they screw it up somehow. It's just that everything I want to play, I'm not... It's going to be a Wii U situation, basically. And I still have no idea why we got that right away. It's like, because you knew the only games coming out were going to be Nintendo Land and uh, New Super Mario. Now they finally got the games coming out starting in August. Well, they can screw it up if the uh, PS Plus isn't worth it. Obviously, the reason that they have consoles so low is so they can do the charging for online. That right there already annoys me. Because I just expect them to raise prices as it goes along, like Microsoft did. But yeah, I trust Sony more than I would Microsoft with anything. I just get bummed when I, uh, I think about the fact that the uh, Xbox One is probably going to outsell the Wii U early on. It's like, hey, we took away all those bad features that we talk about being features. No, oh, I better quit. I, didn't. I better quit while I'm ahead. I don't want to do the console war or your mentality, even though I'm not trying to be one. Look, if you like games on the system, buy the system. That's it. That's my advice to you. For me, that means 3DS. And right now, I'm enjoying uh, New Leaf and uh, that mini zone move game. Oh. This, speaking of being on the move, this is where the uh, joystick is not very good for the whole crawling thing. Yay, I got the cross again. <laughs> I will be, for certain, every now and then. Maybe not as much. I mean, New Leaf's one of those games that's going to be one that you play for a while. But you don't play a lot of it right off the bat. You just play it for a little bit here and there. That's, the, that's why it's one of the better titles, because it's great for a handheld. Minis on a Move is a pretty good one for the same reason. 
Oh yeah, I mean, you don't ever want to power through a lot of these handheld games, except maybe the RPGs. Okay. It's the boss. I I'm pretty happy about that. Oh hey, we won! Yay! I thought I died in this stage again. I guess not. Oh, this means this is going to be a very short video. I'm going to have to uh, switch it in a second. I'm trying to remember when I stopped this video. We're probably going to have to see the uh, movie stop text come up because I don't remember. And then I'll just switch it to a blank screen for a second and because uh, we're just going to make this one whole part itself. Ah, the treasury. <laughs> oh, the treasury. This is another one of those stages. This is the first odd numbered stage that gives me problems. <laughs> Alright, when I did this, I'm pretty sure. I mean, here's the thing I don't remember how many uh, deaths I have in here that I showed before I just stopped recording. No, so Project X Zone freezes a bunch, huh? See, that's why I don't like always buying games. Right? It's like there are certain companies that you just worry about. And of course, you know me. Like I said, I'm just not too big on the whole West thing because I don't think Naughty Dog's the greatest. But yeah, man, Namco messing this one up. I wonder why. I had that happen to me a bunch in the Sonic Racer, too, on the uh, PS3. The new one that everyone keeps saying is really good, and you know my take on that one. It's okay, it's solid, but it still has a ton of glitches as I'm trying to figure out this uh, darn level. This is also Slow Down Central, by the way. If I see my guy stop for a long time at the start, I'll know that's the end of the uh, video. See, now you know why I usually just buy Nintendo games and a few of the great third-party ones. But yeah, I wanted Project X Zone, but if it's that uh, much of an issue with it freezing, there's no way I can just afford to drop 40 on it. This is too good of a... Well, yeah, it's on a Nintendo system, but it's not a Nintendo game. It's like at first I was getting annoyed that uh, Pandora's Tower froze on my... or had a game-breaking freeze glitch for my brother, and I was like, wait, did Nintendo make this? And they were like, no, it's XC. And by they, I mean he. Mixing up my pronouns. Oh, what, is that a thing that you think they can patch? I'm pretty sure the 3DS has game patches if you want. If not, then I'm just a stupid thing right now. now. This song's pretty good, even though I'm talking over it way too much. No, oh, cross. No. I wanted that. See how I handle stage nine for now after like a five minute break.
totally getting edited out of uh, the thingamajig when I upload it. I think I am going to. It's pretending I beat this game. And that's a big if at the moment, the way uh, this whole thing is going. <laughs> well, it could have been worse. I could have switched it to my meat base again. I liked Minnie's merch again. I don't know how some people think about it, but again, that's the retail one, right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to sell it because even I just thought it was a little less than solid. But you know, I will recommend Minis on the Move because again, it's it's cheaper. And it's got a pretty decent amount of content. Oh, if it's that much, then no. I had no idea it was still pretty much full price. It's kind of funny because some Nintendo games just drop like a rock. Like, I could find the Legendary Star Fated game I like for 10 bucks now if I wanted to. Hmm. Yeah, Minnie's March again is probably not worth full price at this stage of the game. Well, then again, it came out pretty late in the DS life, I think. Like I said, this song is pretty darn good. I knew the moment I jumped that I was missing that. Well, yeah, you can hear it. <laughs> I mean, stage eight you can hear, but, and I like that song and all, but at the same time, also, again, I made it further than I did last time. I like how I just take a quick break and then I come back and all of a sudden I'm a little bit better. This worked that same way with the Mega Man playthroughs, too. I remember with Mega Man 8, I took a month off. I, I just could not beat Grenade Man stage without taking damage for, you know, an hour and a half. Take a month off, and then I come back. First try. And Mega Man and Base have had a couple like that, too. Also, I like how I spawned the one, uh coughing off screen there, otherwise I was a goner. I hope you like Minis on the Move, it's a, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm not gonna call it the greatest game ever or anything, but, you know, it's fun. Just think if I did what the uh, Run Button guys did and I did a uh, 30 Years of Mario with my own style and actually putting focus on the uh, mainline games instead of going podcasty. I mean, I like their approach, but it's just not my approach. Although, I've barely watched anything since they started Super Mario 2. <laughs> yeah, after Mega Man and Base, it's break time. Oh, I'm glad people are liking this for the most part. And the one comment I got yesterday made me really feel good. About, you know, just how much effort it takes. It's like showing off everything. It's like, I didn't think the Cold Man video was the most special thing in the world, but it's like, those are the ones that just make me happy when people find out things that they don't know about the game. And there's still stuff I've got to show, too, from that fight that I didn't show, but I couldn't until the, uh, refight. Well, I'm just glad people appreciate it. It's like, uh, I know they're not the greatest things in the world, but, you know, they take time. Even the easy ones. <laughs> oh, oh, you're already getting it right now. Yeah, that's really the hardest part when it comes to editing videos, is just removing the little crackling noises that I, when I talk over them. Yeah, this is easily the one I put the most effort into, I think, for any single game. 
Mega Man 8 and, X, and uh, the X2 and X3 were close because I just keep going back and back, and especially X3 because all three of those were more perfect run deals still. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not doing that for this series or otherwise I'd have gone insane. I still think my favorite video I did was the X2 one with the green biker dude tribute. That was just so stupid. <laughs> I wish I would have known more about what how to edit these videos better. Because, I mean, I, just think about this. I've been using Camtasia now for almost five years, and I just realized it has transparent uh, caption boxes. So much better than the old style. And you will be sure to be thanked at the end of the whole series, like I said, because you were a big help. Just making sure I didn't go cuckoo at times. Yeah, because, I mean, at the start of the series, I was using the normal boxes. Also, this is a great place to uh, build up your money. Just saying, for points. Because, uh, you know, you get points, or, yeah. You get lives for points. Boy, oh boy. I'm putting the card in front of the horse with my speaking tonight. in this well enough. Also, the other thing I want to say is I like the first boss song more than the second one. This one just kind of bores me. This ain't no Wily boss song, let's put it like that. Oh no, I've lost one frame so far. Yeah, because I mean, at first I wasn't that far in it. I mean, I like the game well enough. I'm not gonna. This is the thing. It's not a bad game, but it's just not doing it for me either. Like it's. I played so many other Castlevania games now that I like more. I mean, the only one I might put this one above is Portrait of uh, Ruin. I even liked the first one more when I played it. But you know, it's still got a couple levels to go. There we go. And that's the end for the numbered stages. You punch that air. Yay, another extra life, which means more disasters to come. Well, if you need uh, help, although there is, the game has help menu. Uh oh, don't talk over this beam. I know that song. This is the best song in the game, and I really like it. Unfortunately, this stage is kind of hard. <laughs> yes, it is his theme. Ah, VGCW. <laughs> yes, I die a bunch. I haven't beaten this stage yet. Spoilers. I don't remember how many uh, I show. Oh, there's one. Cause I don't. I just still. I didn't know how the gears worked at first. I'm like, huh? You have to jump on the wheel part, and it's like I'm thinking if the cog catches you, you're safe. No, no, no. You gotta hit the uh, solid part, the round part of the gear. I hope I at least make it far on this go. 
I don't think I do, though. I think it's not until the next time, and I, that was a failed take, too. So yeah, this stage is one where taking a break did not help. I will say this is one of my favorite renditions of Bloody Tears. Like the end there, it sounds like a gear is coming to a stop. Oh, brother. It sounds like the gear is coming to a stop. Well, only three more of these to go. How will I die this time? I'm pretty sure I make it further a little bit. Yes, I, I also like listening to that. Also, I've seen the final boss in this game because I was watching ahead like I always do. I uh, don't know what to think about that one yet. We'll see how it is when I face him. I'm getting all scared. That because that jump is hard. You have to jump on the uh, cog or gear and then immediately jump off. But sometimes I wonder if this game was for effect in some spots. You know, the whole whip swinging. Obviously, the mode seven stuff. It's like, hey, look what we can do. A lot of Super Nintendo games were like, look what we can do. Capcom did the same thing with X2 and X3 with that uh, ship of theirs. Yeah, it seemed like anytime there was a new chip that came out, they had to show off every effect as I continue to screw up. Huh. Mercifully, this one's almost over, I think. <laughs> Come on. This song might as well be called Bloody Gears. I did too. Well, this video is almost over. Yeah. Uh. And unfortunately, that's all I've got for now. Join me for part four of Castlevania 4, where I hope to beat the game and all that. I, I don't learn from my mistakes sometimes. <laughs>